In this tutorial, we're going to use the laws of logarithms that we've learned to simplify logarithmic expressions. Now, the first example we see here, we're asked to simplify 3 times log base 6 of 2 plus log base 6 of 5. I'll start by copying this expression. That's 3 times log base 6 of 2, which is being added to log base 6 of 5. To simplify this expression, the first thing we'll take care of is this 3, which is multiplying this first logarithm. And to do that, we're going to use the power rule for logarithms. And that leads to the following. This equals to log base 6 of 2 to the power of 3 plus log base 6 of 5. And since 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, we can state that this equals to log base 6 of 8 plus log base 6 of 5. We now have two logarithms which are being added. Furthermore, both of these logarithms are written in the same base, which is 6. We can therefore use the addition rule for logarithms to state that this equals to log base 6 of 8 times 5. Finally, this equals to log base 6 of 8 times 5, which is 40. And we're done. We've just simplified this logarithmic expression. Let's look at another example. In this case, we're asked to simplify 4 times log base 5 of 3 minus 3 times log base 5 of 4. Well, let me start by copying this expression again. That's 4 times log base 5 of 3 minus 3 times log base 5 of 4. To simplify this expression, the first thing we're going to do is to take care of these numbers which are multiplying the logarithms. We have a 4 which is multiplying this first logarithm, and a 3 which is multiplying the second logarithm. And to do that, we use the power rule for logarithms. And we can state that this equals to log base 5 of 3 to the power of 4 minus log base 5 of 4 to the power of 3. And since 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81, and 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64, this turns into log base 5 of 81 minus log base 5 of 64. We now have two logarithms, and they are both written in the same base, which is 5. Furthermore, the second logarithm is being subtracted from the first. So we can use the subtraction rule for logarithms to state that this equals to log base 5 of 81 over 64. And that's the final answer. We've just simplified this logarithmic expression. Let's look at another example. In this case, we're asked to simplify log base b of p minus 2 times log base b of q. Well, as always, let me start by copying this expression. That's log base b of p minus 2 times log base b of q. Now, although in this example we don't have any numbers, indeed we have a generic base b and generic numbers p and q, but we mustn't let that put us off. The rules that we've seen will still apply here. We simply need to simplify this as much as possible, treating both p and q as we would any other number. So, the first thing we'll do is to take care of this 2 which is multiplying this second logarithm, and to do that we use the power rule, and we can state that this equals to log base b of p minus log base b of q to the power of 2. We now have two logarithms, and they are both written in the same base, b. Furthermore, the second logarithm is being subtracted from the first, so we can use the subtraction rule for logarithms to state that this equals to log base b of p over q to the power of 2. And that's the final answer. We've simplified this logarithmic expression. Let's look at one last example. In this example, we're asked to simplify log base 3 of 7 minus 1 half times log base 3 of 2 plus log base 3 of 6. Well, as always, I'll start by copying this expression. 
that's log base 3 of 7 minus 1 half times log base 3 of 2 plus log base 3 of 6. Well, as usual, the first thing we're going to take care of here is this number which is multiplying this second logarithm. And that number in this case is 1 over 2, or simply a half. So using the power rule, we can state that this equals to log base 3 of 7 minus log base 3 of 2 to the power of 1 over 2 plus log base 3 of 6. And now keeping in mind that any number a raised to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to the square root of a, we can rewrite this as log base 3 of 7 minus log base 3 of the square root of 2 plus log base 3 of 6. Okay, now that that's done, we have three logarithms, all of which are written in the same base, which is 3. So working through this going from left to right, we can see that the second term is being subtracted from the first. So we can use the subtraction rule here to state that this equals to log base 3 of 7 over the square root of 2 plus log base 3 of 6. We're now left with two logarithms which are being added. So we can use the addition rule to state that this equals to log base 3 of 7 over the square root of 2 times 6. And that's equal to log base 3 of 7 times 6 over the square root of 2. And finally, since 7 times 6 is equal to 42, we can state that this equals to log base 3 of 42 over the square root of 2. And that's the final answer. And so those were a few examples illustrating how the laws of logarithms can be used to simplify logarithmic expressions. And that's it for this tutorial.